Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna take a quick look at how to adjust your autosave and backup settings within AutoCAD as well as where you can find the files and how to open or access them. Uh, this one's gonna be super useful for everybody. Uh, if you haven't come across this before, uh, you can save hours of work if you've had a crash or forgot to save or lost a file. Uh, this is going to help you recover them and track those down and make you look like a genius in the process. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and like it, as well as check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, which I'll link below and up above, where I've got an hour uh, jam-packed full of productivity workflows, tips, and tricks that are going to save you guys even more time. Uh, let's jump into this one and save those files. <laughs> All right, so the first step I'm going to show you guys is how to figure out where your auto save files are going, as well as if you've even got them turned on and the interval that AutoCAD is going to auto save for you. So this will allow you to change that interval as well as track down the files. Hopefully you've already had this turned on. It is by default. Uh, so you should be okay. But if not, you may be out of luck to recover your files. Uh, in that case, uh, hopefully you have the backup uh, and you can see here in the options menu so you're gonna type in options to bring up this dialog box and then go to the open and save tab first just to make sure that these are turned on so you can see the checkbox here for automatic save this is gonna save your drawing automatically to a temporary folder that AutoCAD uh, has predetermined and then you can also choose the interval so how much time goes between auto saves. This is gonna vary depending on the type of work you do and the file sizes. If you're working over the network or a network with large files, an auto save can kind of be a pain because you'll be in the middle of doing something and AutoCAD will basically freeze, uh, or at least it will to you, while it does an auto save. Sometimes that can take multiple minutes or more uh, with large files over a slower network connection. In most cases, you're gonna want it anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour, so you can never lose more than 10 to 30 minutes of work. Uh, most of the time, a slow save isn't gonna be an issue, especially if you're working on smaller stuff or on a local network. The next box you wanna make sure that you have checked here is the create backup copy with each save. This is just gonna save your butt. Uh, it's also gonna give you a way to go back to the previous version if you accidentally make some changes you didn't want to. And I'm gonna show you what that one look, what that file looks like and where it's saved, as well as the automatic saves next. You can also adjust the file name for the temporary files. By default, it's AC for AutoCAD and a dollar sign. This doesn't really matter uh, because you're not gonna be using these files unless you need to recover. And in that case, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Next, you wanna to go to the Files tab here, and you wanna find the automatic save file location. Hit the plus sign here, and you can see where it's going to save your auto save files. Uh, in a local temp folder, as it is by default, is perfectly fine. Uh, if you don't like, you can put these in a specific folder uh, on your C drive or on your network. Uh, but by default, this is fine too, since you're rarely going to need these. To change it, you can simply hit the browse button and point your path to a new folder. But what you wanna do is make note of that so we can track these files down. So I'm gonna show you what this is gonna look like. So I'm just gonna copy this path and open it up in an Explorer window over here. And you can see I've got my temporary folder open and this drawing here is the one that we're in right now. You can see it's open, but it did an auto save about 10 minutes ago. So I'm gonna select my file here, and in order to open your auto save file in AutoCAD, you simply need to change the file type at the end here. So we're gonna hit F2, or you can right click and rename. I'm gonna delete the SV or SC dollar sign and simply type in DWG. So you now have a .dwg file. By hitting enter to confirm that, you can see it's now a recognized AutoCAD full file simply open this file in AutoCAD or drag and drop it up at the top here. 
I've got to close the option window to do that. Dragging and dropping it up into the top bar here is going to open my save file. So you can see it's auto saved. It's a complete working file. Now you may run into issues occasionally with XRAFs and stuff when reopening this save file. You might need to reload or reconnect them. Uh, but this is going to save your butt. You're going to have a new one of those files every 10, 20, 30 minutes, depending on your setting. The other way to access these files, especially if you have a crash, is to open up the drawing recovery uh, toolbar here. So I'm going to type in drawing recovery and it's going to auto complete there. And on the left here, you can see all of the files that I've had open in the last uh, since I've cleared my temp folder. And just by simply hitting the plus sign, you're going to see which options are available. And this is going to have uh, any save files or backup files or recovery files. And then by clicking on them, it's going to give you the path to find it the last day it was saved. And it's going to allow you to open them directly uh, from this manager. So this may be the quickest and most straightforward path to recovering a drawing. So this recovery one, you can simply right click and hit open, and that's going to open it up back in your drawing. You can recover, repair, and then do a save as to continue working on that drawing. Now, lastly, we're going to just take a quick look at uh, the backup file that is created every time you save a drawing in AutoCAD. Uh, if you don't know this tip already, you can right click on the tab of your drawing and choose open file location. So that's going to open a window with the path to where your drawing is saved. And from there, you're able to see your DWG, which you have open. Uh, in this case, we'll just say this is our open drawing and it's made a backup for you by default. Now to access or use this backup, which is a direct copy of your DWG, just in case something gets corrupt later down the road or you lose your DWG and need to recover it, you can simply use the same trick by hitting F2 or right clicking and renaming the file and simply change the file type to DWG. Hit enter. It's gonna make sure you want to do this. Make sure it's spelt right, otherwise this, this file's not going to be uh, usable in any of the software. So you want DWG, hit yes, and you can see that it's already been named here. So I'm just gonna say yes and it'll add the two uh, so that we don't have the same file name. But now, similar to before, simply double click, open this file, drop it in, and you've got access to your backup. So there you go. Those are three different ways to kind of see and access your recovery, autosave and backup files within AutoCAD. Hopefully this is going to save you guys a lot of headache. Uh, I know it saved me dozens of times at least uh, just losing or having crashes and being able to recover at the very least 10 to 20 minutes, uh, give or take worth of work. So you're not losing a half a day or a day. Hopefully this helped you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like below, and check out my productivity webinar because I think it's going to save you guys even more time. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next or any issues you've run into. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.